We're back, everybody. Woo! We're back. We're back. We're talking Cobra Kai again today. Yeah. Welcome back to Roll with the Troll. With the Troll, and I'm here, Baby. of course, with my voice of reason, <laughs> co-host. My, Hello. My co-host, the voice of reason. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have a lot of fun here today, you guys. Once again, we are doing moral combat. Mm-hmm. With moral, a K. With a K, of course. It's a, it's a call back to Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Who is morally superior is what we're going to figure out here today. You know, I really like these these Mortal Kombat things. I like sitting down and just figuring out. They're fun. It's a fun game to play at home. I mean, with your friends and, you know, pit your friends one against the other. Who's... Yeah. Before yeah. we get started, we, we already did this for Johnny and Daniel. We did this for Miguel and Robbie. Now today we've got Sam versus Tori. This yes. is going to be this is like this, this one sh- begs to be done. Yeah, this this one begs to be done as much as Johnny and Daniel's, maybe even a little bit more in some yeah. weird way. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. The whole show is based around Johnny and Daniel. Yeah. And I, I think we could do more of these. I wonder if we could do like like I want to take everybody's antithesis and pit them up against each other. You know, like mm-hmm. I I kind of want to do one about like Bert and Nate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just Nate. take the little guys and see like who's morally <laughs> superior. We know jack shit about them. Right. But I think it'd be fun to, to do them. I think Chris would... and Assface would be fun. Yeah, yeah. Kind of an easy one, though. Uh. Yeah. But anyway, so let's get started here. We got, we got Sam versus Tori. Guys, let us know in the comments what you think. Yeah. We're, again, we're not talking about who's a better fighter. Okay? We're not talking about who does better gymnastics and shit like that. We're, ju- we're not talking about whose makeup is better. We are just strictly talking about <laughs> who is more ethically superior, who's got more of a moral core to their, their being. Uh-huh. Than the other slut. Oh my god. All right. God. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Now here I I think the things you say. This is going to be a real a real tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. Sam versus Tori because sure. on one hand you've got someone who is is just got anger issues. You know what I mean? Who's just right. an angry girl. And then the other one is Tori. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Like, you want to get started here? What are your thoughts first? Let's start with you, Voice mm. of Reason. What are what are the good and the bad in each of these girls? Well, you know, Sam Sam seems like she should be between the two of them an easier pick for the moral superiority. But it really, when you flesh it out, it, it really doesn't come out that way. Not for me. I agree. I think so, the optics. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the, the, optics. the optics look good for Sam. If you're someone right. who doesn't understand facts mm-hmm. and, and you just look at the narrative of something. Mm hmm. Uh, you would assume that Sam seems to come from, you know, a far better family, you mm-hmm. would think. And you would think that Sam has had more education, more time to kind of think about how to be. She's been instilled with more like, I don't know if you care about manners. I don't. I've never cared about I know you don't. <laughs> but if, if you consider manners to be tied into ethics and moral superiority, mm-hmm. you would just kind of assume that it's Sam. Yeah. Uh, but that's definitely the wrong answer. I mean, Tori is clearly mm-hmm. it, all Tori did was she Tori followed. Do you realize in Daniel LaRusso's footsteps, she was new in town. Mm. She wanted to learn some some karate. Uh huh. She wanted to join Cobra Kai. Yeah. And then someone who was already established in the area, who had just broken up with somebody, came along and started bullying her. And accusing her of shit she didn't do. I, I'll i be honest with you. I never thought about that parallel until you said it just now. Oh, I thought of it back in season one. Yeah. Before we even knew Tori. Well. I already was thinking, like, <laughs> once we meet this girl. Yeah. yeah seriously, uh, Tori, by far to me, I don't even need to add up the facts here, but I, but I will. Tori just showed up. She, she, what she wanted to do? She wanted to make a friend with Aisha, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. They went to that that place, that uh, place on the PCH, and uh, along the beach. And... She just minded her own damn business. Okay, you could say, well, she was a bad person for stealing silverware. <laughs> Sam, it's not Sam's job to come up to you and, and, and talk shit about stealing silverware. Yeah, and that was a rumor. And, and Sam did that to me, too, by the way. Well, it wasn't a rumor. I mean, I think, I think she came, I think Tori said it, right? Didn't Tori tell, I, yeah, Tori told Aisha outright that she was stealing the silverware. No, to she said I could, I could steal half the silverware in this place and they wouldn't notice or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. That, that's true. That's true. She's, okay, so, so there you go. So it's even worse for Sam. Yeah. Sam gets worse every second here. So let's look at the facts. Tori was minding her own damn business. Okay, you're right. She made a joke about stealing silverware. She didn't even steal silverware. Right. She was doing her own thing. And then when Sam confronted her and said, you yeah, know, my mom's fucking wallet is missing. Would you know anything about that? Mm-hmm. Easily at that point, Tori would have been in the right to to blow up, mm-hmm. to say, well, you don't accuse me of stuff, and to blow up and get mad. Tori doesn't owe her patience and, and anything like that. 
So Tori would have been in the right to get pissed off. She didn't. What did she do? She de-escalated. Remember that? Yep, yep. Tori just, she's kind of like, I didn't rob your mom, bitch. And Tori suggested to Aisha that they leave. Remember that? She's like, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. That could have been the end of it. But bully Sam LaRusso couldn't let it go there. <laughs> yeah. What did she do? Now she gets physical. Mm -hmm. She reaches over and grabs Tori's she purse. escalated the whole thing. After Tori was de-escalating a couple of times. Yeah. Sam's got to grab her purse. So to me, there's no contest here. Clearly, what led to their their problem with each other. And Tori, when she reacted, when she when she did she kick Sam or push Sam or something uh, over onto all that food. Mm -hmm. Tori did that like in reflex. She was still stunned when she saw how fucked up Sam was. Well, Sam had like a pasta and like some kind of chocolate mousse. And like I, I, some cheeseburgers, food the, the amount of food it was, that is her great. It was her whole, but she it was it was ridiculous. I keep getting the impression when I see that scene. It was fun that the guys like the, the the people working on Cobra Kai were just having too much fun. They're like, wait, 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 but like like they must have cut the scene for a second, right, to cover her yeah. and all this stuff. I bet they were just having fun. Like, wait, let's put hold, a couple more. Hold still, Mary Mauser, while we. Push yeah. this pie into your put, face. Put, put some grapes in her ears. Like, okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I, I got this chocolate mousse here. Let me shove this all over her. <laughs> all right, ready? Three, two, one. Hang on. We got cheesecake. Like, I think they were just determined to cover her in as much bullshit as possible. Yeah. She looks ridiculous. Yeah. But my point is, Tori is even look hor looked horrified yeah. when she realized just how much food was all over Sam. So <laughs> I, I just, I think Tori went out of her way to keep this from getting ugly. Sam insisted on making it ugly. So that was it. From there on out, whatever happens to Sam, Sam was begging for. She asked for this. Tori, mm -hmm. Tori didn't want to be a bully. Sam was bullying her. Tori decided if, if you're, someone's going to start a fight with you, I'm going to finish it. Right? That's fair. Well, yeah. I mean, the, they each have their flaws. And Tori has started her share of, of BS. But With whom? With everybody, but with Sam specifically. Tori didn't start she, any fights anywhere. She led she led the charge to the Lu, the LaRusso home right, for but, the big brawl. But by then And she started the, the that, school fight. Yeah, but again, these were in response to Sam. What I'm saying is none of this ever would have happened if Sam had just backed down. If Sam didn't feel the need to start all yeah, this with Tori. I'm on Tori's side. So but So anything I'm Sam saying, like here's what I'm saying. Let, let's say right now a guy comes into my home with a blowtorch. And, and he sets my home on fire and tries to kill me. Mm, okay. If I confront him later and start a fight, I didn't start the fight. Mm. The blowtorch man did. Mm. And okay. Sam is essentially the man with the blowtorch in this story breaking into Tori's home. Mm. And Tori's me. So <laughs> I, I don't think it's fair to even compare these two. I mean, seriously, Sam did yeah. everything. Then on top of it all, after the drinking contest, Sam fucks Miguel Oh, stop. By the pool at Moon's house. They kissed. They kissed. Yeah, before all the, the, the sex started. Oh, my God. So that's another thing she did that she didn't need to. Sam, Sam just shits all over Tori. It's unbelievable. She, Sam does go out of her way to antagonize Tori, and I, I think a lot of people don't pick up on that. No, they don't. They're looking Where, at the narrative. They easily forget about it because it's, it's easier to blame the tough girl, Tori, for situations that happen. Yeah, and it's kind of what happened with Robbie and Miguel, too. Miguel started that fight at the school completely. Robbie was breaking up the two girls. Miguel comes running. He tackles them. He all just completely vengeful, right, mm -hmm. towards Robbie. But because Robbie ends up being the one who, well, doesn't end up in the hospital, then the narrative to people looks like, well, Robbie's the bad one. He didn't need to kick Miguel off the thing. Miguel could have just as easily have kicked Robbie off. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same with these two girls. It it doesn't really matter how it ends up or who's the one who has more brute force or who's better skilled in karate. That's not the point. Mm -hmm. The point isn't who wins or who loses. The point is who started it and who was trying to deescalate. Mm -hmm. And clearly that's Tori. Tori is not a bad person, I don't think, on the show at all. I just think she's mm -hmm. very tough about defending herself. Mm -hmm. And people seem to confuse that. Especially Shantae, who left us some terrible, terrible oh, comments stop. several videos back uh, because she doesn't understand right from wrong. So, yeah, it, it's very clear here. Uh, Mary Mauser, who portrays Sam LaRusso, is a horrible person. Go ahead. Mary Mauser is not a horrible person. Yeah, because she shouldn't be portraying that character. She 
if you're Mary gonna Mary Melzer per- does a great job. Well, okay, portraying an awful human being. Stop. So it, you, oh, you stop. wanna you wanna portray Sam's not nice a horrible people. human being. Yeah. You think these two girls like each other in real life, the actresses? Yeah, I hear they're friends. You ever, I, you I ever, hear they have a great time together. If I were them, you know what I would do? I'd go to the mall and I would karate fight all the time, like every weekend. I would just <laughs> I, I wouldn't that be hilarious? Like if you live Put in on the an area. Exhibition? Yeah, it's just an exhibition. If you <laughs> can you imagine showing up at, at the mall and just seeing these two and like this huge <laughs> in fact I'd get fake blood, I'd do everything. I'd make it a whole thing. Oh my god. It'd be hel- they're fast. If the cops show up, they can get out of there. But that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway. I don't know. What, any other thoughts here? I, mean, I, I think it's a clear-cut case of Tori's the winner. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Right? Yeah. You know, before we wrap up, I'll go you one further, you guys. Don't, don't hang up yet. Tori would always defend and be loyal to the Cobra Kais, right? I think she would. If they, she's in a fight mm-hmm. and they're going down for some reason, she's going to fight right to the bitter end like she did at the school. Yeah. Frankly, everyone from Cobra Kai lost that fight at the school. Mm. Miyagi Do, every single one of them, including Bert and and Nate, every one of the guys from Cobra Kai was was beaten by someone from Miyagi Do from their mm. counterpart. So Sam, when it came to that fight in season three at the laser tag place, Sam was such a bad person that she cowered in fear while the rest of Miyagi Do got their asses handed to them. Remember that? Yeah, that doesn't make her a bad person. Sure, it does. It makes her frightened. Okay, then when and George Cost- well, then then when George Costanza went running out of that <laughs> that apartment that was on fire. Remember, there was like a bozo the clown or bongo or something with the clown, <laughs> yeah. and he went running out and he shoved kids out of the way. It was like it, women and children were last. Well, that was remember that? that? Was, yeah, George being a coward. That well, was- wait a minute, but then, that, that makes him a bad person, right? <laughs> You're gonna say George was not a bad person. For sure. he, he threw like a 12-year-old out of the way <laughs> so he could run out of there because he thought there was a fire. Well, all right. This is worthy of discussion. Someone's going to have to chime in on this one. We can make that a whole other video if you want. Yeah. But I would say that when you're that much of a coward that you won't even just... St- you have physical control over yourself. Mm-hmm. You can tell... Sam can tell herself, look, meat is over there. They call, we call him meat now. Dimitri is meat. I keep forgetting. Yeah. So she could have said to herself, look, meat is over there getting his ass handed to him. He's getting his arm broken. Uh, the least I can do is get up and do something. Mm. Nope, she cowered in fear. And would Tori do that? No way. Tori would get up and defend her friends no matter how scared she was. Yeah, yeah. She's just a better person in every way. Even 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 with with uh, with Amanda Larusso. Hmm. You know, Amanda when when she came to confront Tori a couple of times, Tori just she she dealt with it. She didn't escalate. She she was fair enough about the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, granted, she had just broken into their home and wrecked everything, thousands of dollars worth of damage, yeah. tried to kill their daughter. But again, that was all in self-defense. That's, that's what I'm going to call it. It's self-defense when Tori does it. Oh. It's self-defense because of what happened a couple of seasons ago. <laughs> you know, seriously. It's self-defense all these years later. Okay. Now, I, 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 Sam's a bad person. Sam is Sam's a worse person. Oh, we got to pit Sam versus Daniel in Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. That'd yeah be you fun. guys comment if you want to see us do that video. Maybe you're getting tired of Mortal Kombat. I don't know. But I would like to see Sam versus her dad. And frankly, I want to see the whole LaRusso clan have to face off against each other. Because uh-huh. I'm starting to think there's not a good person in the bunch after all this shit that's taking place well, in season four. let's start with Sam and Daniel. All right, we'll start there. Anyway, any other remaining thoughts here before we finish up? Hit the like button, please. Yeah, like, subscribe. We do dumb shit like this every day, guys. So if if you're just pontificating stupid shit about Cobra Kai or Star Wars or George Costanza, apparently, then be sure you like, subscribe. You want to get more videos like this in the future. Guys, comment. Let us know what you think, okay? Who's morally superior? Uh, are we wrong in our, uh, in our you know... <laughs> Assessment? <laughs> yeah, everything we've talked about here today. Are we wrong? Are we right? Let us know. We'll see you tomorrow. And as always, thank you guys for supporting the channel.